We're now joined by West Virginia coach Bob Huggins. Coach, welcome and your thoughts about the upcoming season. Well, thank you. Um, I don't. I don't know. I. Uh, I think we're all right. Uh, I think our guard. Our, our guard plays really good. I think um, Javon Carter, Dexter Miles are as good a pair of guards as there are anywhere in the country. And then we got a bunch of young guys. We'll have to find out. Okay, we'll take questions for Coach. All right, we'll start over here on the aisle right, and then we'll move towards the rear. Hi, Bob. Blair Kirkhoff with the Kansas City Star. Hey, Blair. Hey, uh, we, we heard Curtis Shaw go over some rule changes this year, and, and it looks like it, um, uh, more offense being favored in, in some of these rule emphasis and changes. And, um, and I know you emphasize defense. I'm just wondering how you think your team will be impacted by some of these. I, I'm all for offense player I just I just don't think that you know you ought to be able to walk out of traps which hopefully that gets addressed um, you know I, I think the only thing Blair that that is a little bit alarming to me is we act like there's never going to be any contact and they're too big they're too strong they're too fast and the court's too small for people not to have for there not to be any contact so there's going to be and and I just, I wish we could kind of go back to a degree of let the guys officiate the game. And, you know, if it has no effect on the play, why call it? But that's, that's you know, that's not the direction that, that we're headed. But I don't, I mean, we're going to adjust, and we've done it for years. You know, you, my dad told me one time, I was at Walsh College, and, and we played Urbana, and I think they shot 52 free throws or something ridiculous like that. And so, you know, I'm obviously I'm not very happy. And my dad calls me the next day, and my dad was a highly successful basketball coach. And he said, what happened? I said, what happened? They shot 52 free throws. That's what happened. And he said, well, you didn't do a very good job. And I'm like, what was I supposed to do? I didn't foul him. He said, you know, there's a game within a game. And and that's, you know, the more I do this, I think the, the truer that becomes. Everybody doesn't see the game the same way. And so it's going to vary from game to game just because of the way different people perceive the game should be played, officiated, coached, you know, whatever. So... I'm going to try to be a little smarter, Blair, to answer your question. Probably won't be, but I'm going to try. We had a question on the rear, and then we'll come back up to the front. Jeff Borzello, ESPN. I have two quick questions. Uh, one, are you going to wear the, the vest and bow tie on the sideline at all this year? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, and then uh, Issa's absence for the first two months of the season, um, You know, how are you going to sort of replace him uh, during the non-conference season? Well, we can't replace him. Um, he's been really, really good in practice. Uh, I was a little concerned that he'd have a hard time being motivated, but at least at this point, he's been terrific. Um, he's good, you know. I mean, he's it's you, it's hard to replace somebody that good. We'll we'll do it by committee. I, I don't I, at this time, Jeff. I'd be lying if I told you I knew. What we we're going to do, I don't. Um, it seems like every time people ask me, like, who your star is going to be, and I tell them it ends up not being those guys. So I, I really honestly, I don't know. We had a question on the aisle, and then we got – do you have a question in front? Hey, good morning, Coach. Carlos Mendez, Fort Worth Star-Telegram. Good morning. You know Jamie Dixon very well. What do you think of that guy coming into the league and after one year being picked third by the coaches already? That doesn't surprise me. Um, we were in the Big East together, and, and Jamie does a terrific job. But, you know, it, the, the, the thing about this, this league that I, I didn't realize when we got in the league, you, you know, we walk in and we sit down at a coaches' meeting and there's ten guys in there, and I think six of them have been to a Final Four. 
and most of those six multiple times. And the guys who haven't been to a Final Four lost in the Elite Eight at least once and some of them two or three times. It's, it's the best coaching league that I've ever, I've ever been in. And, you know, I, it doesn't surprise me at all. Jamie's a, Jamie's a really good um, end-of-the-game coach. And that's what our league is. I mean, it it come nobody blows anybody out in this league. It's it's also uh, highly contested, and um, there's really good players. You know, when you when you you look at the stuff that that the league sent out about first round picks, lottery picks, draft picks, and then look and and think there's only ten teams in this league. There's sixteen, and those other leagues are fourteen. And we still, I think, what, whatever it is, I think it's the second most amount of first rounders, or second most amount of lottery picks, or there's there, there's really really good players in this league, and there's incredible coaching in this league. Questions for coach. Got a question on the left rear. Uh, Brian Hamilton from the Fieldhouse. What's the next evolution offensively for Sagaba? What's on his checklist to improve on that end? Well, he's worked really hard on his jump shot. He's, uh, I, I feel really comfortable letting him shoot it, you know, 16 or 17 feet. He thinks he can shoot threes, and, and, he, and he does make some once in a while. But I, I don't think that's, that's the direction we want to go quite yet. But I feel really comfortable him shooting at 16, 17 feet. Shoots, he's shooting it really well on the baseline. Um, he's just, you know, he's playing with so much, he's, he's, he's so much more comfortable. He's playing with so much more confidence. Anything further for the coach? All right, coach. Thank you.